guys welcome to the first official kind of video that we got here uh starting our series off it's kind of the pre-season kind of stuff where we're going to be looking at roster coach team all that kind of different stuff uh, this team is not my team i did get off the little workshop thing um so credit to the person who made that but our team is going to be the fort wayne phoenixes they're not the worst team on the marketplace like i said the community marketplace thing but they are pretty pretty bad um, so yeah, we're just going to try to build them up, get an NCAA championship, all that fun mumbo-jumbo. And we're going to be replacing Georgia State, Panthers, uh, and the Sun Belt. That's where we're going to start off here. And if you guys please can, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. Because this series is going to be great. I'm going to, I think this series is going to take off, hopefully. And I'm not, I don't really care about the subscriber count. I'm just caring about the guys who are here. If you guys do enjoy, feel free to share with other people that you know. And yeah, let's get into our coach, Paul Switzerland. Not Switzerland, not Switzerland. Switzerland. And he was kind of an awkward guy in high school. He didn't play football, but he loved football so much. He was a stack on the sidelines, always at every game, every practice. He was there kind of helping out. And he did graduate from Clemson. Uh, he was a equipment manager there, and he learned a lot of football stuff. And the offensive playbook that we're going to be running is the one back. He's going to be more run offense rather than pass offense because we don't have that much talent in the pass area. And we're going to be more conservative rather than aggressive. No, it doesn't make sense, but we don't have that much talent, so we're going to be more conservative. Our defensive playbook, we're going to run a classic 3-4, and we're going to be defending more the run than the pass because we don't have that much talented defensive backs. We're going to be more aggressive there, though. And, dude, this guy, he's, he's just going to struggle. He's kind of awkward, but he's going to try to really bond with this team and build this team up to where we win an NCAA championship. And that is the goal of this whole series altogether. But we're going to be playing on the Heisman difficulties on both offense and defense. I am better at offense than I am defense. Defense, I am atrocious, so you guys are going to be seeing me <laughs> playing on defense, messing up a whole bunch of plays, letting up a whole bunch of points. But our first kind of season, we're not expecting to win all that much games. Maybe one or two, maybe even five. I mean, maybe we don't win one. But, I mean, it's all about kind of this whole building up, right, guys? And so what we're going to be looking at here is the players. We're going to be going through some of the starters, some of the backups, and kind of looking at just how they play. And I'm going to be posting the stats down in the description below. So go check out there to see all their different stats. Okay, so before we get into looking at the players, we're going to be looking at the people that we're going to be registering. I'm just going to scroll through and show you guys the different people that are registering. Majority of them are freshmen. I don't think we got anybody that's not freshmen being registered. As you can see, our team is basically 60s that that's our players we're just all 60s for the most part we got some 50s and i don't think we have any 70 overall players so we're not the best team in the world we're gonna build up most definitely also as you guys can tell i do not have my mic in just yet uh because of the whole coronavirus thing hopefully everybody's staying safe though hopefully everybody's staying safe uh but we're, we're gonna have to use my crappy little headset here that <laughs> It's just really bad. So, yeah, let's go now into the players. Standing at 6'5", 235 pounds, quarterback, number 8, senior red-shirted Jack Billingsworth is going to be our starting quarterback for the season. He's a very speedy guy. So he's going to be rushing out of, scrambling out of the pocket a lot this whole season because we have a very, very bad O-line. So expect high numbers from him. Back up to Billingsworth. Darren Frazier, redshirted junior, standing at 6'4", 220 pounds, number 12, is going to be our backup quarterback for this year. He's a little bit of above average speed, 61 overall, uh, but maybe next year he may start, maybe not, maybe we'll get a better freshman, uh, but he's definitely going to be playing senior night next year. Moving to the running back position, Draymond Chavis is our starting running back he's very very short running back but still he's very effective very elusive hopefully we can sneak him through those holes he's a red-shirted freshman sitting 160 pounds and 5'5 five five. and his number is of course five and it can catch too he's 65 overall catching so we could throw a couple balls to him for sure to back up chavis we're going to be using harold wallace a senior 5'9 180 pounds number seven he is a little slower, but a little stronger than Chavis. He is definitely taller than him, so we could use him, especially he has the same catching ability, so we could use him in those areas where we need him to get above, like a linebacker or something like that, especially. Uh, but he is going to be our backup. Our wide receiver number one, we have senior red shirts standing at 6'4", 200 pounds, Nathan Kaysen. Number 17, he's pretty pretty speedy guy, 88 overall speed. 
and he can definitely catch some balls. He's definitely going to be a weapon that we use, even though he's not all that great of a wide receiver is last year, so let's make it great. At wide receiver two position, standing at 5'9", 175 pounds, junior number 13, Barry Hollins. He is not as good as Kaysen, but he has a little less speed, a little less agility, but he has the ability to pull some great moves that can be game changers, game winners for us, just as much as Kaysen. So he's going to be our number two guy, but he's still going to be a very elite player at tight end number one junior standing at 6'6 250 pounds Rob Castillo I think that's how you say it um, he is a receiving tight end more than a blocking tight end you'll be seeing him a lot especially when we need to dump off passes he's gonna be our go-to guy tight end number two Tom Luke is standing at 6'5", 230 pounds, number 82, senior. He's more of a blocking tight end rather than receiving tight end, but he can still catch a couple passes here and there. He's not just a lineman, um, and he'll also be used a lot. All right, now moving to defense. Titus Clement, our starting left end, standing at 6'4", 225 pounds, junior, red-shirted, and he is number 77. He's going to be a big impact on the defensive line this year. Speaking of big impact, Tyler Moreau, a junior, standing at 6'5", 240 pounds. Number 95 is our best defensive lineman at a 66 overall. He's going to be making bigger plays than anybody else. All right, so next up we got Dre Callahan. He's a sophomore, redshirted, 6'3", 290 pounds. His number is 93. He is a pretty powerful guy, pretty strong too. 81 overall strength um, and also his counterpart Pennington. I did lose this footage. Next up is number 46 standing at 6'2", 250 pounds, junior red-shirted Lawrence Roden uh, and he is our starting left outside linebacker. He's a big hitter, big speed guy and he's gonna be great. Next up we got the middle linebacker Tristan Whitfield. He is a senior 6'2", 213 pounds and his number is 32. He's uh, also just another linebacker there. Last linebacker, the right outside linebacker, Deontay Goodwin, senior, 6'2", 203 pounds, number 24. He's also just going to be a, another part of our linebacker crew. Hopefully they do excel, even though they're lower overall averages. Brian Chavez, brother of Draymond Chavez, and they're both the same height, both the same weight, both the same number, but... Darian Chavez is going to be the all-shining freshman. He's a hard hitter, best cornerback, starting cornerback. His brother is a red shirt. He is not, so that's how it's going to go. Next up, we got the senior Gary Tidwell standing at 5'975 pounds, number nine. He's going to be our cornerback number two, and hopefully our cornerback crew can lock some things down this year, even though they're not that high of averages. Next up, we got Darren Britton, number 26, standing at 5'875 pounds a senior he is going to be our flex db guy playing at all the different positions next up we got our starting free safety norris pollock he's a senior red shirt 5'10, 190 pounds number 29 and he'll be delivering some balanced hits here and balanced coverages last but not least anthony holloway a red shirt senior strong safety number 12 standing at 5'11, 193 pounds also brings a balanced approach as well as our free safety that is our roster. A couple guys I missed, but they're going to be description down below. Now we're going to look at our schedule. First week, we're playing nobody. Then we're at Utah. Then we're at Hawaii. Then we're versus Houston. Then we're at Oklahoma. Then we're versus Fresno State. Nobody. Troy. Nobody. Western Kentucky. Then we're playing Texas State. Then we're playing Yale Monroe. Then we're playing Yale Lafayette. Then we're playing South Alabama. Then we're playing Arkansas State. That is our schedule that we're playing against. And that is the end of the first episode, guys. I have a couple questions for you. Do you want me to have face cam in the beginning and the end of the video? Because I can definitely do that, work that in here. Second question, what should we develop? Um, like, how should we format this whole thing? Please give me anything, any criticisms, any comments, anything down the comment section down below. I want to know your guys' feedback. Should we do custom uh, recruits? Should we do custom this, custom that? Please let me know. I will try to develop that as much into this as possible. And like I said, please share. I'm the biggest YouTube channel in the world, but I'm putting a lot of effort into this, and I would like as much people to see it as possible. If that's two people, then that's two people. And hopefully you guys enjoy, though, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will be in a couple days.
And please enjoy this last little comment that I left for you guys.